Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Journey to Wisdom and Wealth. My name is Tara. If you're new, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. You know you're part of the what? Grateful gang, gang, gang. Grateful gang, 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 gang. Grateful gang, gang, gang. Grateful gang, 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 gang. And if you're not a part of Grateful Gang, we would love to have you over here. It is free 99. It costs you nothing. Zip, zilch, zero, nada. It costs you nothing to hit that red subscribe button. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. I mean, you can do it right now. But if you want to continue watching and you get to the end, just don't forget to do it. Okay, thank you so much. Don't forget to leave me a comment down in the description bar. Okay, so today we will be doing our June final, our second June paycheck. We will be closing that out because it seems like everything has paid on it. Whoop, whoop. And um, we'll see where we are at. All right, so a few things about my channel. I am like what I call a hybrid budgeting channel. I do my Google Sheets budget online as long I have as long as well as I have a Capital One online account and an Ally Bank account. And those are where I do most of my banking. As far as tracking expenses, those are done on in my A5 planner, rings binder, and I do planning in there and all that stuff. So if any of that interests you, there's saving challenge, sinking funds, all the things, then hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. If you are subscribed and you're not getting a notification, please make sure your notification bell is turned off because I have realized lately that my notification bell got turned off on a couple people and it's not even because I don't watch them. It just got turned off. So I don't know what's going on with YouTube right now, but check all your stuff. But that's all the church announcements for today. Let's get into this closeout of June paycheck number dos. Okay. So let me make myself small and put us in a corner. So this check right here was 1644. So let me just explain to anyone's new really quickly. Anything in this kind of peachy color means that we were waiting for it to clear. Anything in this kind of grayish, greenish, blue color means that it was supposed to come through the credit card. Carpet, and then anything in bright green means that we already moved it. Okay, so we'll start right here at Navy Federal, where I see that we were supposed to get a dollar, right, paid. And there is the dollar that cleared, so we'll go ahead and make that bright green. Anything that does clear the bank, we can now make green. The whole point of this is to make everything green. If everything is green, that means that everything cleared. So the second part of our Nissan payment, car payment, and I say our, meaning me and you, y'all, I'm a single bi-weekly budgeter. So $232.59, let's see where that is. There it is, so we can make that green because it has cleared the bank. I do a split payment method with that. Half of the car payment in the first, half of the car payment in the second. And honestly, y'all, this car payment bill is so much that I think it will be my focus for next year. Like every little bit has to go to paying this car off because this is stupid. <laughs> okay, so on two twenty three, I mean, the two hundred twenty three dollars was taken out of the bank for cash, as far as my federal expenses for July, and then two hundred twenty dollars was moved to cash envelopes. For July. Okay, so this here, this money right here. Where's my total? I can't see. $270. Wait, no, I'm lying. What is this for? $223. $223 might have been, it says cash added. So that means I must have put money in to my account. Hold on, let me just double check. Okay, yes. So 223 was money I put in. That's right. I put in to pay a credit card or something like that, but this is not for a credit card. Confusion. Please hold, y'all. <laughs> Wait, let me get my life all the way together before I confuse you all anymore. Okay, y'all. I got it. I got it. I got it. We're good. Okay. 223. 223 is cash added to the CVS. Okay. The reason is why was that reason? Why was that reason? 
Why did this have to be so big? Okay. So 223 is this total minus 220. I'm sorry, minus 210 and 13. That probably was a backwards way of doing it. There's $210 here, right here, that went back into our 100 envelope challenge. We had taken it out and needed to be deposited in the bank. Then there was $13 that came out of our savings from gas and giving that we had left over. $223 explained. Amen. Because I was like, what is this $223? So that's basically what that was. $223. So let's just allocate this. So we understand 223 was added and we're gonna insert some notes. And that means that 210 was for the 100 envelope challenge. And I'm glad we did that. Like I could have started over and then made it seem like I had it all together. But I want y'all to know, we not perfect over here. We are still trying to figure it out. $13 was from gas and um, where is the end? First end. And giving, saving from variable envelope. Okay. So that is what that $223 was. And to take it out, I'm just going to, we're just going to add, uh, let's just put 13 here. And then the other one, 100 envelope envelope, we'll just say that it was other. So under other, we're going to add, actually, we should have put 13 here and the 210 here. Because 13, that's where we were putting the money that was going into those savings challenges. So let me take that out of gas and not confusion our gas money. So put that back to 60. Okay. I think we're all right. Okay. That is that 223 right there. That took way too much time, but that is what it is. Sometimes it doesn't go as smoothly. So that explains that 223, that's this and this. Now, $220 that was added was moved over from hold your horses to the cash envelopes. Okay. For the cash envelopes, I should say. And then we moved it out of the cash envelopes straight down into that it makes sense <laughs> i moved from hold the hold my horses which is where the cash envelope money was i moved 220 dollars in the 220 dollars was for giving self-care giving is 10 self-care is 80 and 120 for gas why do i have an extra 10. is that 120 for gas 120 plus 80 plus 10. No, given is 20. I'm bugging. Given is 20. Self-care is 80. And 120 for gas. 220. My Lord. I'm going to get it together, y'all. Today is a struggle for some reason. So 220 is what I moved from hold your horses because hold your horses was holding the cash envelope money. I moved it from hold your horses into the main account so that I could take the cash out. Yes, the cash out of the CVS. Okay? Okay. I think we're together again. I, these are in and out. I ain't even gonna, I'm not even gonna do it. Okay, and so $13 in the 210 we already discussed. Then we have three cents, three cents in earnest interest. So I'll just put the three cents over here and update our notes that we had 0 0.03 cents of interest okay and then 43.20 so 43.20 was the security equipment we paid it gets paid on the credit card and then i pay it directly back from my main operating account to pay off the credit card immediately so that is also green and then we have 1183.62, which is the mortgage, which got paid, and that is also green. And there's 108. So we thought trash and sewer bill was going to be 105. Turns out it was actually $108. Always going up. Inflation is inflating. And that's 108 cleared. Okay, so now I'm going to delete out the buffer number so I can have an accurate amount. I said accurate and I know it. All right. 
So everything now is clear. The mortgage got cleared, the security got cleared, trash, everything is bright green. So we know everything cleared the bank that we had planned for. And in our buffer or balance, now in our balance, we have $22.67, which is exactly what we have, $22.67. We are going to get paid on the 12th of this month, and it's only the 4th right now. So we do need to hang on for a little bit. What I think I will do is just leave this $22.67 sitting in there. The goal for this is to just, I'm gonna leave the $22.67 in the buffer for now. If we do not need it, if we do not need it, um, which I don't think we will, more than likely what I'm going to do is use it towards my July savings. Uh, Y'all know I'm doing a July savings with a bunch of lovely ladies. Their links and the description, links will be down in the description as well as the cute little um, sit, track, not tracker, the cute little girl, what is wrong with me? As well as the cute little savings challenge, y'all, is what I was trying to say. There's a low budget one for 100 and a high budget one for 500. The links to those will be down. I would love to see who's going to be doing it with me. I did have a couple people saying they're going to do it. And also, I have the one from last month, which is still owed $10. So once this $10, I can use the $10 from that and finish that out. Actually, we'll do that with when our, one of our tracking. Actually, we'll do that now. We have $9 here to be done. And then we have a $1 spot for like our little quarterly there. And we're just going to go ahead and put the $10 over there. Boom, boom, bam. Done, done, done. Hold on. All right. So we're going to transfer. Hello? Um, from here to our monthly challenge, which is right, our monthly savings challenge, $10. And this is still for the June one. And I'm excited because that means that we're done. <laughs> wait a minute, hold up. Wait a minute, hold up. Wait a minute, hold up. Mm, 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 mm. I don't think I have the right color. Markers to finish this off, the disrespect of it all. Success, we moved $10. So um, the, we've been keeping that basically in other. So that's going to be another $10 for the challenge. I really should have wrote notes here because who's going to know? Who's going to know? How are you going to know? How are you going to know, girl? I won't. <laughs> when I go back to look at this, that... $9 was for the June challenge. $10 was for the June challenge. And $210 was for the 100 envelope savings. Okay, now we're going to know, okay? Let me go color in my thing real quick. And I need to update this now because the buffer is going to be wrong. It's 1267, as y'all can see right now. I don't care about me coloring that thing. Just know that I colored it in and it's done. And I'm just going to let the 1267 um, chill out for a minute. Okay. No. For those who do care, I colored it in. There's a little girl. There's the nine colored in. Okay. And then my little half a color in there that smudge a little. We're done. We're done. We did it. We did it. We did it. Hooray. We did it. We did it. We did it. Hooray. Not the whole face over here. So let's check that account. Let's see what we're doing. How we do? Uh, uh. So over here, we should have we should have eighty nine dollars if we did it. <laughs> We're supposed to have eighty nine jewels. Um, 
Y'all see that? Look, it's the, the, the little what? Rewards with $81. Come on, Jesus. Look at that. Um, what? Focus, Tara. This is what happens when you don't focus. We done passed it. Went too far. Okay. 100 envelope, 100 envelope challenge. Also, that's where the 210 went that I was telling y'all about. And if I passed it again, y'all, I did. Did y'all see it? Monthly savings challenge. Patience grasshopper. It has to be here. There it is. $90. It says $89, but you know, we had a little bit of change. So $89, we did it, and $90. And unfortunately, this particular one will be going towards paying off my Home Depot card. But fortunately, because we have it, I think we only need $10 more to pay that card off, which we can do with the $12 that's sitting in there. But we'll do that when we do our check-in on our expense tracking which i feel like i'm doing okay we will do that another time but that's it y'all that's it for this video thank you so much for rocking with me have a wonderful blessed day i hope your budget is closed out for june or it's going well to closing out june because july is in full swing and you're getting your goals and everything done thanks for watching remember in order to be great you have to be grateful i'm super duper grateful for you don't forget me give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe um I'm super grateful for you. Remember, in order to be great, you have to be grateful. Have a wonderful, blessed day. Remember, it's faith over fear this year, but not just this year, but what? Forever, forever, ever, forever, ever, a, ever, forever, ever, 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 